the Pink Rod class have dedicated all of their efforts here tonight to raise funds for young Eddie Cook, a little man that's battling with uh, leukemia at the moment. Um, and the Pink Rods have decided to raise funds to help with his medical costs. So anybody that is able to help in any form, any way, uh, there is a raffle for cakes. I see the tickets have been going fast. Just check the uh, Victory Raceway uh, Facebook page and there's lots of, lots of information there. Anybody requires any more information or who is able to help young Eddie Cook in his fight against leukemia, you're more than welcome to contact either Maggie or Vicky. Their contact numbers are on the race program. <laughs> Chanel Fontonda's car smoking quite badly. Cars line up waiting for the lights. All nicely bunched up. This is going to be a really, uh, going to say a really good start. But it was a false start. Cars were really bunched up nicely. Maybe too close to come for comfort. Bound to end in tears. So the cars will go around once again. Form up, wait for the lights to go green and then we go racing in the 1660 final. Try again, Andre Solvach, and just checking the back of Chanel Fontonda's car as to the cause of the smoke that is coming out the back of the car. Some possibly some bodywork touching against one of the tires, but all seems to be a okay as they once again get into a formation down the back straight. Tensions start rising once again as they wait for the lights to turn green. Seven after the seven of the roof. Looking very, very racy as the lights go green and we go racing. Cars all going through in formation. Martinez Miller up on the inside. He goes up into second place. Oh, watch the triple seven car. No, you can't come from there. Whoa, lots and lots of contact between the cars. Peter LaRue, what was he thinking? Trying to go up on the inside just caused the whole field to concertina in on each other. That was a rather opportunistic move there from the 777 car of Peter LaRue. Found himself flying through on the infield. See, uh, Tian Willifant got quite a lot of damage to the front of his car and the back of his car. Looks like, is he going to retire it? No, possibly he just wants to rejoin. Ruan Moster just jumping in, giving a helping hand to Peter LaRue to get that car started. Oh. 
Well, what a way to start the final. All get sent back to the pits. Ah, see, he's telling them single file, a warning flag. Warning flag to all of the drivers. Right, we are in for 10 laps action-packed race in the 98 car, Francois Engelbrecht leading them through to Melvin Tonda, tucking behind the back of him. Then it is the 7 car, Peter LaRue, Martinez Miller, Wesley Slubbert, Ruan Mostert, Tian Willifant and Melindri Murray. Oh, straight on to the infield goes Tian Willifant retiring. One car down to seven cars contend in the final, leading from the front Francois Engelbrecht, Chanel Fontonde, followed by Peter LaRue, Martinez Miller, and it is Ruan Mostert, Wesley Slubbard, and Melindri Murray. Single file, the cars go through, up through, on the inside goes Ruan Mostert. He's made a move, the first of the cars to break out of formation through on the inside of Martinez Miller. Now he's got Peter LaRue, tanks Peter LaRue. Oh, Mostert now on the inside of Peter LaRue. Can he perform another one of those late lunges? Yes, he can. And driving from Ruan Mostert on the inside. Leans against Martinez Miller as they go through. Great action in the 1660 class. They're hunting down the race leader, Francois Engelbrecht. Then it's Chanel Fontonde, then Peter LaRue. Ruan Mostert getting it sideways. Martinez Miller on his outside once again. Then it's Wesley Slubbert and Melindre Murray. Murray just looking for a way through on the inside of Wesley Slubbert. He's driving very defensively at this stage. We've still got five laps left in the race. Uh, Teddy Berry's guess is going to take second, third, fourth and fifth. Chanel Fontonde keeping everybody at bay behind her. Triple seven is Peter LaRue, Ruan Mostert, Martinez Miller. Sideways, losing a bit of track space. Oh, this is once again like a ticking time bomb for positions two, three, and four. The proverbial something is about to hit the fan, I'm sure, as they come through. Once again, the guys started to push it three laps. Three laps left. And the tension starting to build. Ruan Mostert looking for a way around the outside. He's got past Peter LaRue and goes right around the outside of Chanel Fontonde. Can he hang it there in the slippery stuff? He looks like he's managed to make it work. And Ruan Mostert pulls the trigger. He gets ahead. Fontonde fights back, but I don't think she's going to manage to keep up to the pace that Ruan Mostert has attacked with. So can he hunt down our race leader now? We have got, oh, white flag has come out. We're on the last lap of the race. They're going to have to pull out all stops if they want to catch Francois Engelbrecht. It's going to have to be a long, hard lunge down the, out, down the inside for Ruan Mostert, but I think Francois Engelbrecht has got it covered. He's far too far out to attack. Chanel Fontonde is still third. Then it is the triple seven car, Peter LaRue. Uh, taking the race run, Francois Engelbrecht, Ruan Mostert, Chanel Fontonde, Peter LaRue, Martinez Miller, Wesley Slubbert, and then M uh, Melindri Murray. So.
junior hot rods all bunched up nicely, bringing them through. And our pole sitter Zanku Els, the 63 car, Jean Ray Favey alongside him. It's a good start. Jean Ray Favey looking to go around the outside. Dylan Johnson in third. Zanku Els, oh, about to lose his lead. Zanku Els, can he hang on to it? Gets his nose in there. Yes, he can. Jean Ray Favey getting onto the slippery stuff. the first lap it is Zanku Els that leads Jean Ray Favey Jean Ray going around and around all on his own some Dylan Johnson up into second Nadia Rotenbach third Jordan oh no wow yellow flags coming out now oh, Jean Ray going to need assistance to get that car started so a full restart we will have once again The driver's just getting instruction to go in single file. Uh, looks like Sean Ray Favey, the back wing on his car. Let's come loose, Andre Solvach, and just checking that out. Checking out the back wing, seeing if it's back in, get it back into position. All right, so Zanku else will lead them away. Dylan Johnson in second, Nadia Rotenbach third, Jordan van der in fourth, Shanine Collins in fifth, and Jean Ray. Favey in sixth place. I'm just listening to the noise coming from uh, Jean Ray Favey's car. Oh, like possibly a bearing, something got a horrible squeal as he comes past us. I could hear him down the back straight as well. But let's not worry about that now as we wait for the lights to go green. Zanku Els leads him through. Dylan Johnson, oh, no, not happy. Oh, then the lights go. The lights, that was strange. Lights go green and oh, it went orange and then green straight away. So we are racing. Zanku Els got all sorts of pressure from Dylan Johnson. Then it's Nadia Rotenbach, Jordan van der Merwe, Jean Ray Favey having made up one place. He's got past Janine Collins. Favey just watching him busy hunting down Jordan van der Merwe. 
He's pushing it to the limit. Is Jean Dre getting the car completely out of shape as he just went off the racing line on the lap before? Once again, gets the back, the back to spin out. Manages to get through on the inside of Jordan van Amerva now. Jordan fights straight back, looking for a way through. Can oh, for a moment there, I thought Jean Ray might be spinning once again. But the action at the front, Zanku else has managed to break away from Dylan Johnson and Nadia Rotenbach. Opened up a nice lead with three laps left in the race. Uh, just watching Nadia Rotenbach closing in on the second place man, Dylan Johnson. Could we see a late move here? From Nadia, she's got in, oh, got through on the inside. Uh, Dylan Johnson closing in now, closes that door. We're both running off the racing line. That's uh, allowed Jean Ray Favet to catch right up with him. We are on the last lap of the race. White flag has already gone out. Check it, flag beckons for the race winner now. And it's going to be a great win for Zanku Els as he comes through. Whoa, into the wall. Back there, Nadia Rodenbach crosses Jean Ray for Bay. Van Vieren. Once again, a good start from Johnny De Foss. Oh, the guys all get in the car sideways, but Vincent Venter manages to break away on the outside in third place. It is that 99 car once again. Certainly been treated to some action packed racing in the VA American Salute class. And Vincent Fenter managing to break away slightly from Donnie DeFoss. DeFoss in the number seven car. Fenter getting the car all out of shape. What it has done has allowed Peter Victor to get a sniff through. DeFoss closes the door on him. They both get the car sideways. Ruan Mostov, uh, sorry, Ruan. John Rustov now joining in the party as well. He's closed right up on them. Peter Victor gets the car sideways, drifts it through. Eight laps of racing. Peter Victor has got up into second place. Can Donnie DeForce grab that place back again? Jean Rousseau now looking for a way through on the inside of Donnie DeForce. Both are getting sideways. Rustov leaning on DeFoss as they go through. Vincent Venter is going to be under immense pressure from Peter Victor as Victor closes in on the back of him now. Once again, it'll just be a little nudge to tell you that I'm here. I'm coming for you. Pushes him wide and then through on the inside he goes. Yeah, tactical racing here from Peter Victor. You can just see the many, many years of experience that he has got. Once he gets ahead, there's no turning back. Vincent Fenter gets it slightly wrong. On the infield he goes. Johnny the Postal running in third place. John Rustov in fourth. Then it is uh, Ruan van Vieren, followed by the 68 car of Donovan Kotze. Last but not least, Sydney for Mark. Three laps left in the final. <laughs> Mac
make that two laps now as Peter Victor completes another lap. Now that he's in front, you can see the dominance opening up that lead once again. Dani de Foss still involved in an immense battle with Jean Rustov for positions three and four. Still running in fifth place. It is the number 60 car of Ruan van Vieren. On to the last lap of the race we go. Peter Victor has got this one sewn up. Vincent Fenter running in second still. Very strong showing from him again here this evening. But our champion of the night coming through to take the checkered flag. Peter Victor. Vincent Fenter will be happy with the second place. Danny DeFoss. Great drive from him. Finishing in third just ahead of Jean Rustov. Oh. The number 60 car. The Fires auto car of Ruan van Vieren spinning on the last corner. So once again, lots and lots of action in the V8 American saloon class. But a man in a class of his own, Peter Victor, starts his celebratory lap of honor. Great to have her back out on the circuit in the final. So two, four, six, eight, nine cars. I see that Nuska Landman is out there as well in the 153 car. So pink rods we go. Oh, trouble there, the 44 car, Chantel, uh, Chanel Vardenost in the 44 car, no, the 458 car, Michaela van Hastien, and the 111 car of Sinead Mew, just tangling there, so unfortunately we will have to go for a full restart once again. Much better start this time. Leone Liebenberg straight into the lead she goes. She's managed to get ahead of Bianca Vestrat. The 44 car of Chanel Bardenos moving up into third place. Looks like there's front end damage to Nadia Basson. Uh, Nadia Rotenbach's car is her front bumper that has been pushed out of place. And Uska Lantman around the outside and she goes. And are we getting yellow flags once again?
Right, and the start is all as we go once again. One more lap. Julian A. Liebenberger to lead them through the Anchor Bay Strat. Then the Triple Two car of Simon A. Class. And then it is Triple One, Chanel Mew. 44, Chanel Badenost. And Oscar Landmann. Nadia Rotenbach. Nadia Besson. Then we have got the 458 car of Michaela van Hastien bringing up the rear three, six, three, six, nine cars. Out of the Glasgow Green, we go racing. Yeah, and manages to get away from Bianca Vestrat. Be funny by in second place. She is. She's followed by the triple two car of Simone Clausen. Oh, closing right up. Chanel Bardnos into the back of the triple one car of Chanel Mew. Just listening to Anuska Landman's car still battling with the misfire, but certainly no misfire from the car that is out in front. That's Liane Liebenberg. She leads Bianca Bestrot to then in second place still Simone Clausen. She's got the very hard charge in Chanel Mew. Whoa, on the infield. Uh, Nadia Rotenbach looks like she's going to possibly retire the car. Just watching uh, Chanel Bartmost on the infield. Uh, she went across the infield as well. So, girls certainly pushing it to the limit out here in the pit road class at Victory Raceway. Nadia Rotenbach retires the 61 car. She's had a very, very busy evening here this evening. We have got seven laps left in the race. Can Bianca Vestrad pull a rabbit out of the hat and chase down our race leader, Leon A. Liebenberg? Third place, it is still Simone Klaassen, followed by Shane Mew. Anuska Lantman limping around the outside of the track. And her car has gone off the pace. She's got Chanel Bardenhorst behind her. Our race leaders will be catching up to the back markers in the next lap or two. Still got six laps left in the race. Leon A. Liebenberg closing up on the back of Michaela van Hastien and Nadia Basson. Contact. Michaela van Hasty and Yelly got sent packing onto the infield there. All right, our race leader now dodging her way through the back markers. As she does that, she's dragging second place. Bianca Vestrad along with her. Gets the 458 car, Michaela van Hasty in between them. Blue flags waving vigorously to warn. On the back markers as the faster cars are coming through. Just three laps left now. And uh, Leonel Liebenberg managing to break away. Bianca Vestrat unfortunately getting caught up with Michaela van Hastien, who's a lap down. So that has probably cost her the race or she's charging for the race win. Unfortunately, she's not going to get close to her enough to Leone Liebenberg as the race start the last lap of the race. Leone Liebenberg very comfortably down the back straight she goes. She knows she's got this one in the bag once again. Winning the pink rod class here tonight. Leone Liebenberg takes the checkered flag. Bianca Bestrad gets second. Third place going to go to the Triple two car coming through now. Simone class and finishing just ahead of Chanel Mew. Then we have got 44 Chanel Bardenhorst finishing ahead of the Alien 153 car there of Anuska Landman. So rods have been called into Park for May. Their engines will be sealed and they will be stripped. Officials doing the necessary checks on the vehicles to make sure that they all comply. 
Scout regulations. in the first corner, Yaku Elwood around the outside he goes. Andy Wiggle on the inside, Ruan Fontonde was the leader, but Yaku Elwood straight into the lead he goes. Backing onto the infield sideways. Manages to keep the motor going back onto the track he goes. Oh, you spin me right round, round like a record, baby. Back onto the circuit goes Andy Wiggle. He will soon be overtaken by Yaku Aylwood as they complete another lap. Five laps left in the race. I don't think anybody will have any answer to Yaku Aylwood's dominance here in the hot rod class. Oh. Running in second, Fontonde in third. Andy Wiggle down in fourth place. in the 152 car followed by Ruan Fontola 173 and Andy Wiggle in the 71 car Sean Goch involved in his own spin as Yaku Aylwood starts the last lap of the race now After a dominant performance in the hot rod class, Yaku Elwood takes the win. And as I have it, second place is going to go to car number 173, Ruan Fontonda. Fontonda about to cross the line now in second place. Third place going to go to the 152 car of Sean Goch. And in fourth place, it will be car 71, Andy Wiggle. certainly has dominated this class so far this evening been completely untouchable flags uh, lights go green we go racing and straight away Malcolm else manages to break away slotting into second place is the 420 car of Gerard Willifir followed by Mario Spritz last but not least Michaela Kotze in the 43 car in fourth place
getting it wrong. It's a 420 car. Carrot will if you onto the infield he goes. He's lost a position. Up into second place goes Mario Spritz. Can Gerrit Olifir pull back from third up into second? Looking for a way through. Brits goes wide and uh, wide onto the bumpy stuff. That has allowed Gerrit Olifir to come through on the inside to grab that second place. Brits once again, very, again, very wide. Looks like a car of his not turning in as he wants it to drifting wide onto the slippery stuff around the outside once again Brits goes farming right completely on the outside He's going to almost allow the door leave the door open for Michaela Kotzer to go through two laps left in the race Malcolm else once again off the power he just needs to cruise home doesn't have to push it too hard you can hear he's not even pushing the car very hard as he comes through in second place is Gerrit Willifield followed by Mario Spritz and then Michaela Kotze. Malcolm Els about to start the last lap of the race now. Sees the checkered flag as he comes through. Going to be another easy win for Malcolm Els in the 2.1 modified class. Gerrit Willifield crosses now. Mario Spritz under a bit of pressure from Michaela Kotze. She's closed up on the back of Mario Spritz now. But the checkered flag going out to our race winner, Malcolm Els, the ONT engineering en uh, entry crossing the line. Dominant, dominant performance from Malcolm Els this evening. Gerrit Willifield gets second. Third is Marius Brits, and in fourth place, Michaela Kotzer. Start there from Henry Miller. Neville Ellard already breaking away from Jan van Tonde. Henry Miller in third, then it is Carl van Hastien in fourth. Pierre van der Berg finds himself down in fifth. He's just ahead of Jason Mayer. Nine laps of racing. Neville Ellard managing to break away from Jan van Tonde. Can Jan hunt him down? Henry Miller seems to have found a little bit of extra pace. He's tucked in behind Jan van Tonde. Then it's Carl van Hasty and Pierre van der Berg. Followed by Jason Mayer. Rizan Janssen, Freddie Smith, that completes the field as they come through. Eight laps left. Neville Ellard, Jan van Tonde, Henry Miller, our top three. Here van der Berg drifts the car slightly wide. Let's Carl van Hastien get away from him. They're battling for position four and five. Van der Berg around the outside. Once again, he seems to enjoy the winter line around the outside. Six laps left now. Neville Ellard starting to open up that lead over Jan van, uh, Jan van Tonde. Henry Miller still sitting in third place. Here van der Berg has got up to fourth. He managed to break away from Carl van Hastien now. Just 
focusing on the lead car, Neville Elo going around there. Just look at that little golf lifting, lifting his back left wheel up in the air as he attacks the corners. You can see how hard he's going into the corners. The back wheel off the ground it goes. Car beautifully balanced as it goes through. They're getting the power down to the front wheels. The only front wheel drive car in the field. Three laps left. And it looks like it is going to once again be Neville Ellard that is going to be victorious. Don't think Jan van Tonda has got anything left in the tank of that big BMW. Oh. We are about to start the last lap of the evening. Evel Ellard sees the white flag. He knows he's got this one in the bag. Jan van Tonda still running in second place, followed by Henry Miller in third. Then it's Pierre van der Berg, Carl van Hastien, Jason Mayer, Rizan Janssen, Freddie Smith. But taking the checkered flag, taking the win. Neville Ellard once again. Jan van Tonda gets second. Henry Miller finishes in a very, very good third place. Pierre van der Berg, after a good evening for him, finishes in fourth. Then it is. I think it was Carl van Hasty and ahead of Jason Mayer. Rizan Janssen, and last but not least, it is Freddie Smith. Right, as <laughs> Jan van Tonde just stopping to give. Congratulate three thumbs up to the man who will be crowned champion here on the evening of the evening.